G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are on episode 5 of What's Under That Rock. Let's check it out and see what we can find and flip some rocks. Come with me, let's go! Yeah. Uh, I believe it's a blue... And they, yeah, they do that uh, when they feel thr thrilled on it though. Let me just, oh, I, I, I can't even speak. Guys, first rock of the day. It is such a fantastic looking day. We've actually got 0, 0.0 tide height today. Super rare to actually see. So this is about the eighth rock that I've lifted up. Haven't found too much yet, so let's check it out. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. This looks like a battleground. Wow. So as you can see here, wow. Yep, definitely not a malt. We have a... Uh, I believe it's a blue sand crab and I reckon what would have happened is these two or Yeah, I'd say this crab here might have been trying to eat this guy or fight him or something and he would have uh, Spooged all of this white excrement stuff. I believe it's actually its intestines that it spits out because this stuff is super sticky as you can see here i can barely touch it and it'll stick to me. they actually do that for self-defense because it's so sticky don't worry they they rejuvenate all of their intestines back but yeah i'd say that this here blue swimmer crab would have been trying to eat this mr sea cucumber and mr sea cucumber didn't have it he wasn't have any of it he wasn't having any of it wasn't putting up with it so that's just incredible. Would you look at that? Look how sticky this stuff is. Super, super strong as well. Yeah, that's not coming off, buddy. So that's just incredible. The Mr. Sea Cucumber definitely wouldn't have been hunting this guy to try and eat him because these guys are bottom feeders. They don't eat uh, big, tough crabs like this. So he's definitely dead, missing all of his arms. Wow, what a story to tell on that rock there. Let's flip it back over for him. That is just incredible. Wow, one of the best rock flips, coolest rock flips I've ever seen for sure. Wow, did that tell a story. All right, let's check out what else we can find under these rocks. Uh, nothing, whoa, that's a massive guy. Holy moly. Sorry, buddy. Wow. Oh, he's got big nippers. All right, I'm gonna leave him be. Wow, you're a big fella. You're all right, buddy. You're all right. I'm not gonna hurt you. Holy moly, you would definitely hurt me. You're huge. See the size of him? Wow. Sorry, buddy. All right, I've been here for about two and a half hours. Nothing, nothing. Big fella out. Urgh. Holy moly, but nothing. I haven't found too much today. Looked under a lot of rocks. But this one's looking really nice. Let's give it a go, eh? Come on, please. Please. Yes! Oh, thank goodness, guys. Look at my face right now. Look at this. I'm stoked. I've literally walked like two or three kilometers and haven't found much at all. Surely, wait, I can't get my hopes up yet. This still might be broken. But I do want to check this tiny little sea cucumber out. Look at it. That is the smallest one I've ever seen for sure. How cool is that? Alrighty guys, the big reveal. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yeah, boy, oh, cool. Oh, that's got me thrilled. Heck yeah. I've literally, I'd say if I had to guess how many rocks I've lifted up today, It'd probably be between 40 or 30 or 40 so far along this whole like three kilometer stretch of beach rocks. <sighs> awesome. I've had so much luck with Arabian carries right lately. Awesome guys. All right. That's why you don't give up, huh? It's really starting to look bad for today's shell finds, but awesome. We've still got a bit to go. I'm gonna look pretty much under all of these. Let's do it. Number 349. Ew, Mr. Sea Cucumbers. Look at the size of these ones. Oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> these rocks are so heavy. Look at these guys. These are huge. 
Let me grab one for you guys. Look at that thing. Oh, and they, yeah, they do that uh, when they feel threatened, which this guy shouldn't feel threatened. Um, probably the safest thing he's ever seen. Wow. Yeah, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven sea cucumbers here. Yep, they are nasty. I can't stand them, but they're really good for the ecosystem, so there we go. Alright, let's see what else we can find. Number 93. Oh my goodness, that is a giant. Oh, shame, it's broken. Is it? really bad oh it's oh, i guess oh that's such mixed emotions um yeah it's a giant turbo shell wow look at that look at that color i reckon i'm definitely going to keep it it's actually kind of cool that you can like see through it am i right wow because it's really nice on that side look at that it'll still sit really nice like that Wow, that was mixed emotions. I was like, oh, so let down. But I was like, oh, heck yeah, that's a big turbo shell. Cool. Huh. Awesome. Comment down below. What do you, would you keep this, you guys? I think it's pretty cool how you can see windows into it. Wow. Cool. I'm gonna keep that, I reckon. Of course, we got nasty Mr. Sea Cucumbers. You disgust me. But we'll let you back, back down. Cool really took me so by surprise cool. number 64 maybe i'm not sure let's check it out hey what we got a couple of good things look at this though this is a really interesting rock actually heck yes so we have a giant sea cucumber of course but look at this there's just so much wildlife i don't know where to start let's start off first with this uh live money cowrie not only do we have one, but we have two. How cool is that? See them right there? Isn't that freaking awesome? Then next up, we have the smallest. Wait, wow, that's a Captain Coon. Are you freaking for real? I didn't even notice that until now. There's just so much to look at right here. All right, so we, what was I looking at first? I don't even remember. Yeah, this uh, tiny sea cucumber. Look at that thing. Wow, look at it compared to a normal sized one. Isn't that incredible? But yeah, let's check out this Captain Cone here. It looks really old, to be honest. Eh, it's definitely got a nice um, ice cream cone top, for sure. But then as you look down, it, it's really discolored, losing a lot of detail. Ah, it's such a shame. I think I'll keep it though. I don't find Captain Cones too, too often. So that's a nice little collectible, collectible shell there. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Then we have this really nice Hebrew cone sitting there. That's pretty cool. Awesome. That's actually the one of the best ones I've seen in like a week. Beautiful pattern on it. Really decent size. Uh, yeah, then we have the big sea cucumber sitting there. Hey, you gross thing. And then, yeah, the thing that caught my eye above the rock was this operculum here. Pretty nice. Let me step over here. Oh, I hate when that happens. But yeah, that's a nice little pack. Check that out, hey? So yeah, I'm pretty, uh, oh my goodness, happy with that. Look at that. I couldn't believe this. But um, see, that's the rock I was just standing on. I was just showing you guys the piles here. I looked down, and look at that. That's a, what is it? Can I grab it? Wow, that is a cat cone. Wow, an actual cat cone. These are actually really hard to find. Um, I've only ever found like two. And this one is beautiful condition. It is a little bit broken under the side there. Let me get on some stable ground. But it has a really nice pattern on it, I reckon. That's really cool. I can't believe that little hole. Right along here. Oh, that one is so... It's testing me, that rock. out today you guys just incredible all right let's flip some more Let's rocks. game with you guys here really quick can you spot the shell it's very very hidden down here can you spot the shell it's about that big let's check it out let's get a little closer 
Can you spot the shell now? Here it is. Very, very camouflaged, right? That's just incredible. That's over like months and months of sitting in the water and algae and getting thrown and thrown. Let's check it out though. If you don't know, this is a Arabian cowrie. Hopefully it's whole, hopefully. It looks pretty rough shape though. Ah, it is whole. Look at that. It's got some sand in there. Look at that though, the teeth are just impeccable condition. And then the top unfortunately needs a really good bar. But I believe this one can be saved. I reckon about two hours in bleach solution. And that'll come out really nice. Hopefully we'll be able to save that because it's a really nice shell still. No breaks, teeth are really good. So yeah, I think we're gonna call it on the rock flipping today because I'm not finding much at all over the last half hour. So um, we'll see what else we can find hidden around here. This is where I have the most luck finding big shells. So yeah, look how low the tide is today though. Look at all this like seaweed. The tide today is 0 0.0 I believe. Usually it's about 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Yeah, it's just filled with this seaweed here. Crazy to see. Just found this Arabian cowrie. Just sort of chilling out somewhere over there. I've done my rounds around here, checking it out. So we just found this one, right? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, I think this might be another one. This will be the third one for the day if this is. But I'm going to go ahead and say that if this is empty, then the live snail that lived in this would have suffocated right here or around here in this sand because that's what happens to them sometimes. They don't always get eaten. They actually suffocate when they get buried in the sand just like this one here sitting down in here is. So that's what I'm going to say, that it's not alive and that it unfortunately suffocated. But uh, that's nature. And uh, yeah, let's, let's check it out. Come on. Come on. And is it empty? Yes! Oh, <laughs> I just can't believe my luck recently. Obviously, it's a great win for me, but such a sad story for the shell. Or for the snail, more so. Yeah, so what, what, let me give you guys a little lesson here. I am absolutely thrilled on it, though. Let me just, oh, I, I, I can't even speak or think what I'm trying to do. Let's take a look at the shell here. Really nice shell, bit of a smaller one. But uh, yeah, let me give you guys a little lesson here. So what happens is when they get stuck in the sand, they basically get bogged like a car does on sand. Um, it doesn't have any tires, doesn't have any arms to sort of lift itself out. So once it gets stuck in here, it can't move. All it can do is slither back and forward. And what happens when you slither back and forward? You go deeper in, just like a car. If you keep flooring it in a car, when you're bogged in the sand, you'll just go further down. So yeah, pretty sad story, huh? Pretty crazy. I only just learned that story, story actually a few weeks ago off Maddie. So um, that's Sand and Coffee Rocks on YouTube if you don't know her. But yeah, she told me about that. Uh, pretty crazy, but it makes a lot of sense. So yeah, pretty pretty cool. I'll happily be here to, to collect on them. But uh, yeah, it's nature. Awesome. Alrighty, guys, we've got two Mr. Sea hairs unfortunately uh absolutely cooking out in this sun look at this look how high up this guy is in these like mountains and look how far he is from the water the tide is still dropping we've got one here and one down there they're absolutely getting cooked out here they for sure would have died oh this one's tough getting out they for sure would have died if i hadn't have come through here and uh, rescued them Let's put, this is actually still getting lower. So let's put this guy, actually let me grab the other guy first before I go too far so I don't lose him. Come here buddy. These poor guys. Oh, oh, this guy's even worse. Look at it, all the heat being drawn down in here in this crevice. And this guy's a monster. Wow, huge. So yeah guys, if you're new to the channel, I don't even know if I can hold both of these. If you're new to the channel, uh, pretty much every single time I come to the beach, which is literally every single day, I find about two or three or even more 
of these sea hares that get dried up and almost die in the uh, high tide pools or low tide pools that just dry out. So let's find a good spot for them. This is pretty deep here. Whoa, got me there, almost slipped over, but uh, one guy fell out. Uh, he's okay though, they go through a lot of like rough seas as you can see. They live in the tide pool, so the tide goes up and down. So he's completely fine down there. Lucky he, he landed in the water, so yeah, my mistake there. Couldn't really do anything about that, but he's all right. Didn't hit any rocks or anything. This guy is giant. We'll let some water get into him for a second here before I put him down. This thing is massive. Look at that guy. There you go, buddy. They are both straight back to life. He's eating by the looks of it. And this guy is still taking a second. But uh, yeah, there we have it. A couple of sea hares rescued. Awesome. All right, let's see what else we can find. Rock number 338 for the day, maybe. All right, let's check it out. Oh, oh, we got some slimy stuff down under there. Wow. Oh, yes, we might have a crab. Another crab malt. I've been absolutely scoring on crab malts the last couple of days, you guys. Come on. Please, this looks like a really nice uh, blue swimmer crab. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Look at that. You can tell instantly whether these are dead crabs or a crab malt because the eyes are clear. How cool is that one? It's got massive nippers. I haven't found one of these yet. That is so cool. So yeah, over the last like, what, two months, I've been finding a few of these crab malts. How cool is that? First blue swimmer crab ever. Awesome. Also have a cowrie shell there maybe. Might be all right. Let's check it out. Yeah, nice little arosa. Cool. Pretty stoked on those finds. Would you look at that, eh? I love that blue swimmer crab. That's cool, massive nippers. Just huge. Cool. All right, let's continue down the line. I think this might be a uh, first time rescue for me, guys. This looks like a type of pretty decent sized nudie branch right here. Yeah, it is. It's definitely still alive. Only barely. Look at those colors on the underside there. So these just slither along the floor. They come in hundreds of different sizes and colors. I don't usually see many very often at all. Pretty cool though, right? Yeah, he was definitely stranded there. Let's see if he comes straight back to life. Oh, sorry, buddy. There we go. Let's see what happens here. You can actually see his antennas coming up at the front there. And he's off. Yep. Awesome. Love to see it. All right. You have a good day, my friend. That's a first for me. I've only ever rescued uh, sea hares. That's pretty cool. Hey guys, that's going to do it for today's episode of number five, What's Under That Rock? We had a fantastic day, a huge day, actually. I probably walked about three kilometers, lifted about... Oh, 50 rocks I'd say and uh, I think we came up pretty well I'm really happy with today finds today's finds uh, my favorite find of course is definitely this Arabian here gosh I've been so lucky with Arabians the last couple of weeks you guys it's just been nuts uh, yeah then we had another Arabian a little bit smaller that super old Arabian not sure how that's going to clean up because it's got all those holes there as well uh, then we got this blue swimmer crab. I'm really stoked on remember. It's just a malt. So they're really cool massive claws then we did have this uh, Giant turbo shell with a bit of a window inside there pretty broken up though, but I think it's pretty cool It's got really nice colors on top there a couple of other little things like the captain cone uh, crown Cone, I think I can't remember Hebrew cone and operculum there. So yeah, I had a really awesome day. So my uh, TikTok series, What's Under That Rock, has like 89 episodes now, and it actually just hit over 75 million views. So if you want to go and watch those on my TikTok channel, uh, at Shellcade, and I've got 80 more, about 30 second episodes on that, and it's absolutely blowing up recently, so that's really cool. Uh, yeah, so that's what the YouTube series started from, but 
yeah thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video later guys